our society is sure taking a beating of seeing the hard realities that people don't desire to work as previous generations before. We're, we are seeing people that are being enticed to work with higher wages, bonuses, hybrid work, remote work. They're given opportunities that are literally unheard of. It wouldn't have been something that we would have thought that would be in existence in today's world. But we're seeing it unfold. And it's unraveling in ways that, that are unprecedented. We are seeing shortages all over. Although people have the opportunity to work. And all the experts and many people across the globe Are wondering why people are not going back to work. Now, there are various reasons to that question, but it is a fundamental nugget but why. I believe that people are not going to work. When we think about the last couple of generations, they don't understand, they weren't put into situations like previous generations before. They didn't go out and learn things. They weren't put in to certain environments. They were placed on electronics. They weren't learning how to work on vehicles, fix things in the home, go out and get a job when they're teenagers, kept their mothers and their fathers. So when we had this chain of events in the last couple of years, it accelerated our true realities of what we have done as a society. So when we get away from the landmark of what God has established, we're going to ex experience great difficulties. God laid out the strategy, the purpose that man must work he must sweat. He must go out and make a living. And in the New Testament, Paul talked about Thessalonians that if you don't work, you don't deserve to eat. 
Now that may ruffle many feathers in our world today. As people are looking for more ways for individuals to do to do things for them. That's not how God designed it. So when we think about why work, this is a hole that we have dug, whether it was intentionally or unintentionally, we have put ourselves in a bad situation. There are shortages all across this country of businesses having to close because they're facing these hard realities. See, we must put our children and our loved ones back on the right path. And that is serving Christ. He must be the anchor for us to have a life with a purpose. There are too many individual individuals today that are living blindly. They may have a purpose in what they believe, but they don't have a clear spiritual purpose. We have to get back to the blueprint. We have to understand that God's way is the way to direct our lives and also prepare us for heaven. We have to go to work physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually and lead by example. So we can put our lives and the lives of others on the proper foundation for the kingdom. The time is now to aim for salvation and to work tirelessly Fight for the perfect beauty of heaven.